I've been on vacation for a while, quite busy actually, intensive yoga training. Um, something that has come up has really interested me, and I've discussed it with a few of the teachers. We've got some pretty good yoga teachers where I go. Um, pain. Some people say that pain exists because it has a reason. Something wants us to feel pain in order to warn us of something. The body wants us to feel pain to correct something. I don't believe that. I think it's simply a case that those organisms that develop the most sophisticated means of assessing and repairing damage to themselves have survived. I don't think it's a case of we developed pain in order to help us survive. We survived because our nervous system went this way not it's not a case of we developed a nervous system in, in order to allow us to survive so what is pain really ultimately what is it it's um, I think that we have a again in common with a lot of people's views of I guess evolution natural selection Darwin whatever you want to say I think a lot of people have a really muddled idea of it uh, seeming to think that there is some sort of process or telos to it. Um, it's shockingly common. I think pain just is. I don't think it's... Um, I don't think there's any purpose to it at all. Um, and there's another interesting a angle to it. Um, I've had... Um, uh, mis uh, displaced hip, not dislocated, but just slightly out of where it should be in its joint, which causes pain. It causes pain all the way down my right side. Um, I can even feel it all the way up to the side of my head, this sort of thing. You get really used to seeing where each individual muscle is when you do yoga. Now, I'm glad that I have that pain. And not because I enjoy it in and of itself, but because it helps me uh, motivate myself to do something that I consider more important than evading that pain. I, I want to advance in my yogic practice and in my general um, spiritual goals, whatever I would call them philosophical goals because I don't believe in anything particularly spiritual or supernatural, any of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> pain simply is, and it's a, like a tool laying there in the street for anyone who wishes to use it. It's like fire, I suppose, would be a better, uh, better metaphor. Um, fire will burn you. It'll also cook your food and light your house and keep you warm when it's 40 below. Um, some people my age are starting to complain about chronic pain. Um, I'm 52, and a lot of people, you know, you develop aches and pains, and I guess you get used to them, in as, you know, or some people do, most people do, I don't know. Uh, but people just learn to tolerate them, whereas I see the value in it. I can use that pain to motivate myself. My, the pain is not inherently a motivational tool. It's not, unless you believe in God. <laughs> um, it just is. Um it's there waiting for you to use it for what you want. Any kind of pain, I presume, could be used this way. Um, sometimes we lack motivation as human beings. Some people chronically lack motivation. Um, I once made a few videos about anxiety and acedia where I said that certain attempts at motivating oneself will lead to anxiety. In other words, uh, you know, your stereotypical Catholic kind of motivation, guilt-based motivation, or self-hatred-based motivation, or this sort of thing. Um, there's other ways to use negative or negative things. Uh, I've used this pain as a means of sharpening up my mind by sharpening up my body, by thinking that I have to go to yoga all the time in order to correct this issue. Once it's corrected, I wonder what exactly will happen. That's the $64 question, isn't it? What precisely is going to happen when I correct my right hip? It'll eventually happen. It has to. Uh, it might take me a few more years. What happens when my body is nice and symmetrical? Will I just sort of go, oh, well, I, that's the best that I can do? 
and hmm, well, now that I'm here, now what? I honestly do not think so. But again, when we're talking about the good, and especially when we're talking about the good when it comes to things like pain or suffering or whatever, it's really hard to talk about it and you have to sort of speak elliptically to do so. Um, you have to talk about things in kind of a weird language, poetic language that people can't understand normally or just or they just say that's just religion. Um, but again, it the very fact that we seem to think that pain is sort of a horse pulling a cart as opposed to what I think it is, which it's just something that's there, it just is. It's neither, it's not meant for anything. But since most people think that it's meant for something, they're in that sense, if you ask me, a little bit less free than I am. Now, talking about free will, I, what I mean by free here is the knowledge of what things truly are. Um, do I think that I know what pain truly is? No, but I think that I know that pain simply is. Um, I don't think that it's good or bad. It just is. And if we can use it to our purposes, uh, rather than allowing it to dominate us, uh, we can actually set it to a purpose that it doesn't inherently have. 